Hola guys, it's Tara Vitus. Alright Libra, I've done your X reading. I did Lenormand like I've been doing for the air signs and I took some notes. Um, you guys got more cards than what I've been giving. I've been giving just four with uh, the bottom of the deck, but some more came out so I put them in there. Um, what you have are Mountain, first card. So this will be the card I use for timing um, and then mixed in with a few other things here. We also have Tower. Um, then you have Heart and Sun. And Heart and Sun are going to be the main focus because they are in the middle, surrounded evenly on two sides, okay? Then we have Mouse or Mice and Gentleman. On the bottom of your deck, you have Lilies. Okay. So there's some odd information in here. And so you'll know how this applies to you. Um, some of you, now whatever energy it is, apply it how you can. If this is you, this is this energy, or if this is somebody you're going to be dealing with, it's their energy, okay? Um, because, again, we're talking about the past, so I'm not going to know who your past person is. Um, or if this is you I'm talking about. Um, first, when I have mountain and man, that's how I put them together. I have a man who is indifferent. This is how they feel about you. Um, but he also has some blocks in life. And so because of all of these things, he's just not making any effort when it comes to love life. Um, we do have eight of wands, which is talking about communication. But I'm just seeing there's lots of blocks. These mountains and these wands, it's like all the blocks are over sieging him, okay? He's under siege with blocks. Um, also, if you are messaging this person a lot, they're going to block you, okay? Then we have tower and mice. And with the tower and the mice, I'm seeing some kind of a corporate loss or a university loss. Um, and I feel like this has to do with somebody, um, somebody's intellect, intellect or even possibly having died. Although I feel like nobody's died um, yet. And there is no actual death card in here that would imply that. Although we do have lilies, and those are like death flowers. Um, but if I put the mountain and the tower together, because they are next to each other, I'm seeing lonely in love. And it's a big love, or it's a big loneliness. But I also see some kind of a block in government. I feel like this person could be like the CEO of a classroom, as in a professor. Um, or just a CEO in general. But they're getting some kind of a block from the government. And then again, we have that university loss and corporate loss. So this is this person. If this is not you, then this is your ex. If neither one of those applies, then this reading is not for you. Um, however, this could be dealing with um, a grandfather figure. If you have a grandfather, this sounds like this could be them. Okay. And you may somehow run into your ex while working with your grandfather. I don't mean literal working, but when you interact with your grandfather. Okay, so we did tower and mice, which was corporate loss. Then I put tower and heart together because they're so close. And again, I'm, ha I'm having lonely, a lonely relationship and being separated. Okay, but next we have heart and sun in the middle. And that's the most important part. It's like the outcome because it's in the middle surrounded by everything else. It's like all this is happening and here's what's the core of the, the reading. Here's what the outcome is. So with heart and sun, we have a successful relationship as well as passionate love. Okay, so now that those cards are all finished, I took and applied the lily to each of the cards. So with lily and mountain... You get a lack of progress, progress is being blocked, also the possibility of no sex life. So if you're looking into your ex's love life, it looks like they are they just have a lot of blocks, um, so they're having no sex life. This could literally be like they can't get it up. Um, and then with the lily in the tower, 
we have a CEO or a government official, but we also have an assisted living facility. And so I do think that somebody's grandfather is coming through. Um, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and this has something to do with your ex. I'm not sure how. Maybe they worked with your grandfather at a living uh, facility in some way. Um, somebody may be leaving a corporate job or a professional uh, teaching job at a university to take care of a grandfather. Um, something of that nature. This will be applying. This could be you. You may be seeing, oh, you know, I need to go live in a facility because I need to, I'm not as sharp as I was and I'm not doing my job as well at this corporation or this university. Um, and so you're lonely and looking for an ex. All right, so with Lily and um, the heart, <laughs> lost my place there for a second. We have an older love and a passionate love. So I do feel like there are some older viewers here who are looking for love with an ex. And it's possible they may find one at <laughs> an assisted living facility. Um, okay. But again, there's probably a lot of younger viewers. This is four. And then they somehow run into their ex or they talk to their ex or their ex reveals that a grandfather um, was in a living facility. I'm only saying grandfather because we have the man. So since this is a general reading, it could be grandmother, grandfather, older woman, that kind of thing. All right, now with Lily and the son, we have a very successful man. So we have that CEO, okay? We have that professor, but it's also success that is late. So I feel like you're going to be successful with your ex, okay? But it's going to take a while to get there because they have so many blocks going on. Also, I feel like they're kind of, since they're blocked, you're getting blocked. Um, also seeing the, there may have been like no sex life with them or they're having no sex life. But somehow or another, you guys come together and you have a positive sexual experience. However, um, I do want to caution you that um, the next one, Lily and Mice, I mean, we just had this positive sexual experience, okay? And then we have Lily and Mice, which says um, STDs, okay? So the possibility of getting an STD from a positive sexual experience will make it a little less positive. However, this STD must be curable because we have the problem will end, okay? So it must be something that you just need medicine for, okay? Um, but yeah, problems are going to end. All those, these roadblocks will end. But then Lily and Mice also means Alzheimer's. So that's what I was going to bring up earlier. If there's a grandfather or grandmother figure, they may be in a facility due to Alzheimer's. Or if this is you and you realize that you're having the symptoms of Alzheimer's um, during a lucid moment, then this is somebody who's moving away from career and moving into a facility. Um, or this could be information that an ex gives you or that you give an ex. Um, again, you could run into this person when you, you're helping out a grandparent um, get their life in order. Um, and then when we have Lily and man, this tells me there's two men. Now, I mean, if it was supposed to be woman, I think woman would have fallen out too, but because it is a general read, I have to give that option. So I see there's probably two men, two women. If not, um, this could be just talking about your ex and then your grandfather or your ex and your grandmother. Those are just two people you're really dealing with in your life right now. This also says there's an older gentleman. We've been talking about Alzheimer's and assisted living facility, so this could be a very old gentleman. Perhaps me, you are, um, your ex is a lot older than you, and you're starting to see Alzheimer's symptoms. I mean, everybody is so different, so this would have to be very specific. I wouldn't really see this a whole lot. Um, and I will say that there's research that says STDs are rampant in assisted living facilities. So, because um, everybody's just having sex with everybody, apparently. 
So apparently somebody's having no sex life. They move into an assisted facility. They have sex, but they get an STD. <laughs> I mean, if you just go through the timeline, that's what it says. But um, that would be for very few people. Um, but also the Lily and the man, if it's not two men, it just talks about grandfather. Um, also a mentor. So this could be somebody who's needing a mentor. You've seen them as a mentor. Uh, a mentor is somebody who helps you. Um, you talk to them. So I could see when you're helping out a grandparent and going through this Alzheimer's fiasco, you may um, turn to an ex as a mentor. Um, I don't see a whole lot of just, this is definitely an ex. So this may even be a new person and the cards aren't even going to address your ex, okay? I mean, that's, it, that's what I asked. So that's what I'm reading it as, okay? Um, and if you have no interest in your ex, then this could possibly be a person um, that's coming in to your life. But it's surrounding a grandparent or has something to do with a grandparent. And there will be two people involved, whether it's two love interests, a grandparent and an ex or a potential person, whatever. And then we have the mice and the man so close. I'm seeing that this older gentleman or this grandfather or I just see a depressed person, most likely a male, but somebody's depressed possibly about their grandfather. And so they're seeking a mentor and it happens to be a shoulder to cry on, which could be an ex. It could be a potential person. It could be somebody who's helping your grandfather. Uh, it might be a CEO or a professor, um, all kinds of things. Now, when we're looking at timing, I asked for the first card to be timing, which is the mountain. And mountain is overall a block, okay? So, um, sorry, my camera's been all kinds of smeary lately. I'm not sure why that is. Um, but as far as time goes, it says more than a year. Now, if I combine it with the tower, it tells me a year and six months. And then I was combining it with, because um, both of these are block cards, so I wanted to combine them. And then if I compare it with the excuse me, with the overall the lilies, this would tell me a year and six months and most likely towards the end of that six month period. But also this can tell me within a year and six months. But the mountain does say more than a year, so it will be more than a year before this happens. Um, and it also is saying that if it's between a year, a little over a year and a year and six months, it's going to happen more towards the six months end, okay? And less like a year and a week, okay? <laughs> All right, so I wanted to do a little bit of clarifying with this deck to see what kind of information comes out because there were so many different odd um, occurrings in this reading. Um, it's very specific, and so I know this is going to apply to someone. Just whether or not they get it today, it may not be a year from now before they get it. A year from now, I'm telling you, but this isn't more than a year. But we don't have more than a year. We only have a year or um, several years. So it's telling you it's going to be more than a year. And there will be big, happy changes. So I did see things would improve. There's going to be a positive sexual experience. Um, Let's we'll see what happens next. Because then we have STDs. So I want to make sure. Um, helpful people. Okay. And we did have a mentor in depression. So you're going to be looking for people to help your grandfather, your grandmother, you, if this is you. You're going to be looking for somebody to have a shoulder to cry on or talk to about the situation. And that's how a scenario is going to play, play out. If for some reason you did not need a reading about your ex and you just happen to be watching, um, then this is just something that's going to go down for you. I mean, this does not scream to me X reading, X reading like a lot of readings do. Um, so this may just be something that plays out in your life. All right, Libra, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hopefully about your ex. <laughs> um, but overall, uh, be happy.